In the arthropods, we will be discussing about the subphylum Chiliserata. The Chiliserates are diverse and heterogeneous group of organisms, and these are the arthropods which include mites, scorpions, and spiders. So you might have seen since the pattern, the spiders, the scorpions, and the mites all have the eight-legged organisms. The familiar horseshoe crab limulus together with extinct sea scorpions that are Eurypterides. So the, the sea scorpions which went extinct, these are included in the chiliserates as well. So the chiliserates are uh, containing different body parts for, and these are having the segmented bodies as well. The first part is called the prosoma which is head and thorax. The head and thorax combines together and it is called prosoma. Pro means before and soma means body. So anything that comes in the anterior part of the body of these chiliserates is called prosoma and it is head and thorax. And it is with six segments with the appendages. And then there comes the opisthosoma or abdomen with the 12 segments. And then there are the pair of chil uh, chiliceri. So chiliceri are the pincers or the uh, reason why we give the name of chiliserates to these groups. So what are these? These are the first. Uh, these are attached to the first segment of the prosoma, and these are helping in different functions to these organisms. So here you have the chiliserate morphology displaying the dorsal features. So here you have the. If we start from the beginning, there is the prosoma, which is containing the compound eyes and ocelli. Ocelli are the structures which are related to the visualizing the outer structures along with the compound eyes. They have another feature of ocelli which is again a visualizing structure. And the pedipalp, pad means comes from the pad that means foot. Palp means to sense, taste or touch something. So the pedipalps are the organs on the prostoma which are a pair of organ which is used for the tasting, touching, locomotion. It is for the locomotion in the horseshoe, horseshoe crab. It is for the different functions. And then there are the walking legs. And then there is a walking leg for swimming and that is called paddle, right? And then there is a pre-abdomen and the post-abdomen, right? And tergite are the calcified segments on the body of these organisms. And telson are the tail of these organisms, which helps them in the locomotion or balancing. So chiliserate groups, traditionally, there are the two main groups, the merostomes that include the aquatic horseshoe crab, limulus, uh, horseshoe crab has the name of limulus. And then there are the giant sea scorpions or eurypterites, which are now extinct. And the, uh, the, the second group wa uh, traditionally was arachnids, mainly comprised of terrestrial spiders and the scorpions. So you see there are the marine uh, spiders and scorpions and then there are the uh, terrestrial uh, spiders and scorpions. This is sort of not a very good uh, bifurcation of these groups. So this, this bit of the subphylum into marine and non-marine has been challenged. This is not a very good way to uh, classify these organisms. So the bizarre Santa uh, carries from the mid middle Cambrian burgess shell may be a basal outgroup to the clad chili serrata. So how did this, uh, the evolution of the chili serrata take place? The chili serrata are, you know, descended from the bizarre Sancta caris that was uh, found in the Cambrian uh, Burgess shell. And then there is a Zephoshore, which is the name of horseshoe, horseshoe crab. These are the taxa such as Eolumulus. Eolumulus have been described from the lower Cambrian. And as we go from the simpler, uh, from the larger size and the shorter fused abdomen, as we go from the, uh, uh, come to, towards the present, we would see a trend in which there is a larger size and the shorter fused abdomen. There are the uh, 50 genera of Eurypterides uh, and they have been described. And the group was most abundant during the Silurian and Devonian period. And then there are the arachnids and arachnids have evolved the book lungs 
or the trachea or the both. So book lung or trachea both are the respiratory organs of the arachnids.